So, you want to learn how to get better at pixel art? Well, go ahead and pick up your paintbrush because today we're getting artsy. Hey guys, we're Methods by Kai. I'm Kai and today we're back once again taking a look at uh, exactly that. I want to go ahead and talk about a, a couple of things um, about how I personally got better at um, pixel art, which is exactly the way you're seeing right now. So, a lot of the times when you see pixel art tutorials or videos or in pixel art in general, you see like individual like sprites. So you see like a sword or shield or a character or you know a flower, a, a piece of ice, a book, a chest, you know something. That's usually what you see. And while that's really good to get you kind of started in pixel art, and it's really good for practice for that specific object. Now let's say you needed to practice how to make characters or how you needed to practice how to make rocks or something like that. That's great for that. But I'm talking about on a general scale here, on a, on a general basis. The, the way that I got better at pixel art um, uh, is that I started making scenes instead of just objects or just characters or just items or just, you know, pieces of a work of art. So I started making these scenes or these landscapes or these um, like areas. And not only did it help me just with pixel art items in general, what it helped me with is it kind of helped me to create a cohesive piece of work. So a lot of the times as an artist, especially a pixel artist, I kind of get trapped in this mindset of, oh, I'm making a chest and then I'm done or oh, I'm doing this and I'm done. Because if you're not working on a game or um, if you're doing some sort of pixel short or some film or something like that in the wave of pixel art, but most of the time you would be doing a game. If you're not doing a whole game, you're usually only working on one item at a time. So when you do a scene like this, it kind of gets your mind in the idea of let me make this entire scene and see what I can do and how I can place all these objects in this scene and have it look cohesive, have it look good, make sure the lighting is uh, coming from the right directions, make sure the shading is looking good, making making sure everything looks the way that it's supposed to and it fits in the scene. And it really, really kind of helps you understand the area and the scene and the entire scale and the entire scope of pixel art instead of just an individual item. So what I want you to do today after you watch this video or sometime next time you're able to get up and make some pixel art, um, hopefully today, you get up and you just make a scene. It doesn't have to be like this scene. It can be a desert. It can be uh, a cave. It can be a little ice scene. It can be inside of a house, like Stardew Valley vibes. It could be, you know, uh, a village. It could be a town. It could be a city, you know. It could be a futuristic city. It could be a, a prehistoric city. It could be a medieval city. It could be literally anything you want. Um, it could be a warehouse, you know, a boss, a boss room, literally anything. Just search up a Mario boss fight and then just recreate that scene, but in pixel art. And what you'll find is that you'll you'll get all this practice for individual items, but you'll also get this really cohesive, big, nice, finished looking project. Um, and that'll kind of help cement all the skills and all the things you've learned into one individual piece. Um, and just keep going with it. Don't stop when you finish one item. Keep going and add as many things as you can to the scene until you feel like it's finished. There's no, hey, this means it's finished right now. This means it's finished right now. But that is one of the biggest things I can teach you and help you with. That's what I did to help myself get better at Pixar, and I do it every single day still. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for all the love and support on the videos recently. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.